Well, hello, hello, hello again, everybody out on YouTube. Professor Woody here. This is our second installment on playing the guitar. It's called the Gitter and the Guitar, and there's all other kinds of names for it. So today we're going to work with the major scale. Major scale is a very cool scale to work with, uh, and we will start off with the C major scale meaning that the C major scale is a natural scale and has no sharps or flats in it. And I want to start off with what we call a closed position scale. Closed position means that you are going to be using your fingers to fret every string and you won't be playing any open strings as you play through the scale. You get it? <laughs> well, I certainly hope so. Now, I'm going to start off and I'm going to play the C major scale, but I'm going to be starting on the top string at the first fret, which is the note known as F. I will play through the C major scale slowly. And you noticed that as I played that I didn't play any open strings like this without putting my hand on the fretboard. All right. When I play a string open, it's like I just played my bottom E string open. But there's an idea behind playing the C major scale when a closed formation, meaning that once you learn the formation of the C major scale, and in which case I just played using a fret boundary from the first fret to the fifth fret, I played my C major scale within those five frets horizontally. Once you learn that pattern, then you have really learned all the scales because you, you move the pattern up and down the neck and you will have no open strings. So here's how I'm going to go with this. C major scale starting from the top E string, the thickest string, I'm going to call out the frets as I play. So my first on the top here, I'm going to go frets 1, 3, 5. And notice I try to use my little finger to get the little finger thinking independently of the fourth finger, which takes exercise. you got to do it every day. So here's how we're going to go. We're going to go. So that's 1, 3, 5. Now I'm going to the A string. I play no strings open, and I'm going to go two, three, and five. I'm going to go to the D string and play frets two, three, five. Now I'm going to go to the G string, there's a little turn in the road, and play frets two, four, five. Then to the B string. I play the frets three and five. Finally, bottom E, same as top E, frets one, three, five, also known as F note, G note, and A note. So I'll play the G, C major, sorry, C major scale again. Down, I'm going to go from the highest to the lowest. I'm going to go backwards. And I came back to rest at the C major note. So that's going to be today's lesson for you, is learning the C major scale in a closed position. 
and I'll call off the frets as we go through it again, starting with our top E string. We're going to go 1-3-5, then we go to the A string and go 2-3-5, then we go to the D string and go 2-3-5, now we go to the G string, it's a little bit of a change, and we go 2-4-5, now we go to the B string and we play 3 and 5. Notice I'm using my third finger and the fourth finger. I like to do that because it exercises the third and the fourth finger. It's hard to do. With practice, you'll get those two fingers somewhat thinking independently. And finally, for the C major scale, bottom E string is 1-3-5. Because both, this is an E string, bottom E string. So the pattern is going to be the same, 1-3-5 on the top, 1-3-5 on the bottom. I'm going to play that C major scale one more time. And I play the C major scale. So now you can jam. You can play that, you got somebody else, another guitar player, playing the C major. And somebody wants to jam on leads, well then I just... All I'm using is picking notes from that pattern that I showed you and playing them against the C major chord. Okay, thanks for stopping by and I hope to have more interesting things. In Lesson 3, coming up with Professor Woodrow, we're going to explore the C major scale a little bit more and other scales that grow out of the C major scale. So thanks, thanks for stopping by and have a very, very good and groovy day.